In this video we're going to see how you can make your photos look like a folded note card. Start by opening a photo that you want to use for the front of the card. We need more room around the photo to add our effect, so let's expand the canvas. Go up to the image menu and choose resize, canvas size, and that will bring up this dialog box. Make sure that this relative box is unchecked just click on it and change the width and height fields to percent. Now type 150 into the width field. Press the tab key to advance to the height field and also type 150 in there. Down at the bottom of the dialog box let's choose white for our new background color and click OK. Now you can see that we have some extra space around the photo to work with. Now we want to make a selection of our photo. Probably the quickest and most accurate way to do this is to first select the canvas we just created because we know it's all the same color. So grab the magic wand tool from the toolbox and go up to the options bar and make sure that contiguous is checked. That just means that all the pixels that are included in the selection have to be touching each other. So in my example, even though the sun might be the same color as my canvas, it won't be added to the selection because it's not touching the canvas. Now just click once on your canvas and you can see by the marching ants that our entire canvas is selected. But we want just the opposite. We want our photo selected, and right now that's the only thing that's not selected. So go up to the Select menu and, and choose Inverse. And now just the photo is selected. Now we want to put the photo on a new layer. So go up to the Layer menu and choose New, Layer, and Layer via Copy and you can see in our layers panel that it added a new layer called layer 1 above our background layer. Turn off the visibility of the background layer by clicking on the eye next to it and it shows us what layer 1 looks like. You can see that it's just our photo on a transparent background. That checkerboard pattern represents transparency. Let's duplicate layer 1 by pressing Command J on the Mac or Control J on a PC. Now you can see the new layer at the top of the Layers panel. It's called Layer 1 Copy. Now click once on the layer below it, Layer 1, to make it active. Put your cursor right over the type and double click. That selects the name of the layer so we can change it. Let's call it Inside, because this is going to be the inside of our card. And then click next to it to deselect it. Now place your cursor right over the thumbnail and hold down the Command key on a Mac or the Control key on a PC. And notice your cursor changes from the pointing hand to a pointing hand with the square dashed lines over it. That indicates that it will make a selection of all the pixels on that layer when you click. So go ahead and click and our photo is selected. We want to fill the inside of the card with white. To do this, go up to the Edit menu and choose Fill Selection. A dialog box appears. From the Use drop-down menu, choose White click OK. You can see in the Layers panel that it changed to white. You can't see it on our image because Layer 1 copy is covering it up. Now go up to the Image menu and choose Transform Distort. And you'll see we get this bounding box around our image. Put your cursor over the center bottom handle click and drag up. Now click the bottom right handle and pull it out. 
click on the green check mark to commit the operation. Now we're going to put a border around the inside so you can see the shape of it better. Go up to the Edit menu and choose Stroke Outline Selection and enter one pixel into the width field and then click on the color box and in the B field here double click the B stands for brightness and we're going to give it 50 percent which is kind of a neutral gray and if you don't like that color you can experiment with different um, percentages in the brightness field so fill that in then click OK and click OK to that and now we have it's hard to see because of the marching ants but we do have a light stroke around the inside of the card. Now let's fill the inside with a gradient for a more realistic effect. So click on the gradient tool in your toolbox. Go up to the options bar and click on this little arrow just to the right of the gradient thumbnail and that will show your gradient choices. We want the black and white one so that's this one here. You can see it says black white. Click on that and then close this box. Now place your cursor slightly above your card and click and drag down and if you hold the shift key as you drag down it will keep your line straight. And then when you get to about the bottom of the inside let go and you can see it fills that with a gradient. You can experiment with this by dragging a new line and starting and stopping at different points. Each time you drag the previous gradient will be replaced by the new one. So if I go in here and start at this point and drag down let go there you can see it gives me a different effect. So I'll go ahead and experiment with that a little bit if you want. Press Command D on the Mac or Control D on PC to deselect. Now let's create a white background for our card. Hold the Command or Control key and click on the Create a New Layer icon in your Layers panel. That will create a new layer below the inside layer. Go up to the Edit menu and choose Fill Layer and make sure white is in the use field and click OK and now we can see our card on a white layer and that pretty much completes our effect now you can go up to the layer menu and go all the way to the bottom and choose flatten image if you want and you might get this message to say OK and that will merge all your layers into one and then do a save as from the file menu to give it a name and place to save it to. I hope you found this helpful. For lots more information on Photoshop Elements visit my website at EssentialPhotoshopElements.com Until next time, take care.